there, this is Mrs. Meyer, and I'd like to read a story to you today. My story I'd like to read is called, What Do You Do With a Chance? by Kobe Yamada, illustrated by Mae Bessem. One day, I got a chance. It just seemed to show up. It acted like it knew me, as if it wanted something. I didn't know why it was here. What do you do with a chance? I wondered. It fluttered around me. It brushed up against me. It circled me as if it wanted me to grab it. I started to reach for it, but I was unsure and pulled back. And so it flew away. about it a lot. I wished I had taken my chance. I realized I had wanted it, but I still didn't know if I had the courage. When another chance came around, I wasn't so sure, but I decided to try. I went to reach for it, but I missed and fell. I was embarrassed felt foolish. It seemed like everyone was looking at me. I decided I never wanted to feel this way again. So after that, whenever a chance came along, I ignored it. And the more I ignored them, the less they came around. Until one day, I noticed that I hadn't seen a chance in quite a while. It was as if they all disappeared. I started to worry. What if I don't get another chance? I know I acted like I didn't care, but the truth was, I did. I still wanted to take a chance, but I was afraid, and I wasn't sure if I would ever be brave enough. Then I thought, Maybe I don't have to be brave all the time. Maybe I just need to be brave for a little while at the right time. I realized it was up to me. I promised myself that I, if I ever got another chance, I was going to, to not hold back. If I got another chance, I was going to be ready. Then, one seemingly ordinary day, I saw something shiny far off in the distance. Is it possible, I hoped? Could this be my chance? I had to find out. I ran as hard and as fast as I could towards it. I don't know how to explain it, but the second I let go of my fears, I was full of excitement. It wasn't that I was no longer afraid, but now my excitement was bigger than my fear. As I got closer, I could see that this was a really huge chance. By this time, I was ready. As it came by, I reached out and grabbed it. I held on with all my might. It felt so good to soar, to fly, to be free. I now see that when I hold back, I miss out. And I don't wanna miss out. There's just so much I want to see and do and discover. So, what do you do with a chance? You take it because it just might be the start of something incredible. So friends, I hope you are having lots of chances and that you are discovering lots of wonderful things. Miss all of you.